Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to try and get my flyer working properly today. I am not happy with the way it turned out. One of my subscribers said I should try adding in a gyroscope. Only problem with that is I have no idea how to build a gyroscope. So I had a quick Google and I realized something I should have probably realized a long time ago that the game processes centrifugal force. Um, and I've seen few people using some kind of spinning gyro so I am going to try and make my own following that concept today and show you all of my failures no doubt and as I'm still very much experimenting um, I'm going to be using the unlimited inventory again well this is my mock-up idea here or at least the inner part the easy part so, I have some spinning weights. I, I may need to make them a lot larger. I don't know. I'm just, just trying for now. Um, now I need to build a frame around this with a bunch of sensors to detect pivot. And, yes. Well, I think this is going to work. The only thing is, it looks too simple, so it probably won't. Let's hook it up and see what happens. Um, it's all revolving on a bearing here, so basically I'm going to smack the platform with a hammer and see what happens. Oh, I think this platform needs welding. Whoa. Uh, something just broke. Where did it go? And where did my frames go? Did it go to the floor? Eight frames a second down the stairs. That's painful. It did. So, uh, I'm going to, what else, did, what did you just break, did you just break all my doors? What the, okay, the game does not like this gyroscope. Okay, my base is still very broken, but I think I've got most of it sorted. I'm going to take this thing far away from anywhere and go and play with it. This is clearly not working. Something is very wrong here. If I understand, I need to leave these as free spinning loops with the sensors on it and build more loops around two more loops around the outside okay take like many oh that also because i reversed that one bearing Okay, and this inner one, a uh, bit of a hard time there, will it center itself? Why won't it go that way? Alright, I've added in some colors to try and help, you know, make everything a bit easier to see. Um, let's turn it on and see what happens. I don't know why these won't spin. Because
because they're bound by those controllers. Start from scratch. That's what I'm gonna do. So uh, I got a little bit serious and I built a test rig. Um, these colored rings are the only bit that can s is my gyroscope. The rest is just my test rig. Um, and well, this is, let's see what happens. Um, so six, start up now. Should be able to rotate this and that red platform should stay level. Oh, it's because it's hitting. Okay, let's see what happens. I start her up. And I think if I hold 3, 5, and 7, well, let's do one axis at a time. Well, that works. And if we throw in some of this. There we go, we have a working gyroscope. The red platform is finally staying level. As it bobs and weaves about. Now to do sensors so that it automatically corrects itself. Oh, it's gotten a little out of whack there, but I suppose it's been on quite a journey. Okay, finally, I think I have something to show you. Because it's actually opposite with the test, test rig, because I, I'm moving the gyroscope where in whenever I build something, I'm actually going to be moving the structure around the gyroscope. Everything has sort of been opposite and I kept doing it wrong. It, it, it really hurt my brain to get this one. It's not that complicated, but yeah, like I say, the whole opposite thing kept getting me. Anyway, let's turn on. And now... I'm not too worried about the steering left and right because I'm not going to be setting up like cruise control because I'm going to manually want to steer my plane. So I've just got the steering there to simulate it that it would at least fight me. But for, or correct itself, for it'll only go so far and it'll stop. Um, I need to adjust the angle of the sensors, maybe put some pipe, um, anyway, uh, just to get the tolerance a little bit closer so that like the steering, it it will center you back on zero but this is just a proof of concept so it works brilliant but you can't oversteer and it will bring you back like I say I just need to adjust how far and then same for the other axes it fights me on both of those so by fine-tuning those tolerances a little bit and making this whole thing a lot smaller because it turns out the gyroscope isn't just that bit hanging in the middle it's this whole thing um, Effectively, my craft can be the outer square. This outer frame here is what's actually going to be our plane or what we're going to build as our plane. We need to make this all a lot smaller, but I feel a lot better now that I at least have this working. And we can do multiple axes at the same time. The same thing will happen, obviously. It will center itself or stop it from going too far and bring you back. Um, I'm going to need to get it pretty good like the steering whoops, for all the axes because I want to make a flyer and it's going to need to basically stay perfectly level. Um, yeah, but we have a gyroscope. 